So the other day I went and had a t tattoo, okay? And uh, the tattoo artist was asking me about music and stuff. I would talk. And uh, I told him I know a lot of things about music distribution, but I don't know how to make a concert, okay? And one of the things that I uh, discovered recently, uh, you can get invited on... Uh, Hello? You get invited on Orchard if someone else is using Orchard. Uh, people here are saying that this video is a scam, the email. So look, you go on Orchard as a user, you log in. And then uh, you go where it says uh, somewhere settings. You go, you see where it says invite users. So, yeah, if anyone is on Orchard, you know, like, uh, do, do you get a uh, sync deals like United Masters because Orchard is by Sony, okay? Uh, I prefer United United Masters right now because uh, look, I submitted a beat for the NBA. You know, maybe maybe they'll play it on a warm up. You know, maybe they'll play it on a halftime on a timeout or something. You know, you, you get you get paid if they do that. <clears throat> Uh, to submit, it's easy. You just uh, pick a song. You, you click on submit a track. Uh, you click submit tracks. You, you click next. Then you click a song that you want. Let's say this one. I produce it myself. Doesn't contain a sample. Doesn't have, I think, this one. This is like one of the, the things that I don't really know. Uh, I have registered with BeatStars. Let, let's say if we go to BMI repertoire, if we go to BMI repertoire, okay. Let me search Picasso. Uh, let's go performer. Carlito Athanasius. I don't know why I have two two things. Okay. Uh, okay. So it's gonna be it's gonna take a while. If uh, no. Um. Okay, so if I found me. Uh, okay, so let's see if it has a thing, the thing there. Based BMI 50%, IPI. Uh, here, see? It has one. So, it has a I. S I S W C. So all my previous, all my previous stuff that I was saying no is false. So you click on this, a professional way to do it, you know, and I have to email support and tell them I have a. Let's see the other songs, okay. Uh, one of the things I want to talk about is because I have many things on my channel. Okay, because this song is new, it isn't isn't um, registered yet. The Picasso song is like from 2020, so it, it is a lot registered. I have a, some people that uh, don't know about distribution, but follow me for other things, you know. And uh, sometimes I think, even for the people that follow me for distribution, do they know what? an IPI number is, like the tattoo artist asked me, do we need to register on publishing? Is this necessary? And I told him, that's how I make my money and live, make a living, you know? 
I also told him that when you make a concert everywhere in the world, you can register your concert, like let's say with Song Trust, okay? Uh, and uh, you can make money from that, uh, from that concert. International touring. Song Trust now collects royalties from all your live gigs around the world. So that you can get paid every time you play, visit setlist and your account. So we can do that. Let's give me a moment. So if you're using BeatStars Publishing, uh, I don't recommend registering your songs with SongTrust, okay? Because I did it. And BeatStar Sony said to SongTrust, we have exclusive contract with the artist for a year. Uh, my contract recently uh, expired from BeatStars, so I could have go to SongTrust, you know what I mean? But I wanted to stay on um, BeatStars. So where is Setlist? Okay, let's go to Setlist. Uh, dashboard, Setlist. Uh, I see royalties menu here menu mm, no I don't see set list I think I do see set list because uh, I I don't have a um, I told song trust to end my contract or something and uh, I don't see a set list here but normally in your account of your song trust song trust costs uh, one hundred dollars one time fee and they take 15 percent one five so now on beat stars uh you put on that name you put their email on united masters i i made a mistake the, then you put their ipi And one other thing that I want to talk about, I, I have to make a new video because I'm talking for, for a lot of things at the same time, like vlo vloggers do. I need to sign in again. Give me a moment. So, Tula. I had a little bit of noise there in the mic. Okay, Tula uh, has copyright, copyright registration, okay? So, instead of going... Uh, on the US copyright government uh, site, you can just go on Tula's. I think this is for Americans, I'm not sure. And you can pay whatever you you, you pay on the government office, office. I don't know if it's $115, I don't know if it's that. Um, and then you can copyright your songs. I think you just pay one time. I don't know, you pay one. And then you copyright your songs and um, it's the made they made it easy to copyright your songs. You know, you, you receive if you see here you receive physical evidence. Receive the first physical or certificate and the mail from the US copyright office. So I have to make a separate video for Tulas that you can read do it um, on your own. You know, uh, without going on the copyright and the government side, because they they are working together now. So let's go and uh, find my IP, IPI, which is this one. No, this is Bitstar. Okay, wh where's my? Here's my IP, IPI. <sighs> Okay, so I submitted my song. It has lyrics, but uh, it has lyrics, but I don't have the lyric lyrics right now. 
so I submitted it. it's a Greek rap song and uh, yeah I hope I get it in a movie a, on a video game trailer commercial and an ad TV you know that's what I'm hoping I used to think that you content ID is really important is it was all I needed but now you know with United Masters a sync getting my music on a project on the movie industry on the you know the entertainment industry and, and, and a lot more money you know like even in a, a TV show like imagine having my beat my lo-fi beat let's say if I was uh, you had you need to distribute with United Masters to do the same thing even if through the rap you can register through the rap Imagine if I had a beat playing on a TV show that had 10 season and 20 episodes each Let's say like two, two and a half men and my beat is playing on the credits, you know opening credits You get paid every time is pressing play uh, I mean on the legal legal way though like uh, let's say if they are on, on Netflix the press and play on Netflix. If someone downloads the file from a site that isn't legal and watch it on their computer, I'm not gonna get paid. Okay, you need like you're not gonna eat and go eat in a restaurant and not pay. You know what I mean? Like, but if you cook the food in your home, you'll pay for the ingredients in your home. So I, I, I'm. I'm sitting here thinking of an example what you can do for free what you can do for payment I'm also trying to talk simple from the for the people that don't understand uh, so invited users you, you put their email thing and they get, they get an invitation and that's it uh, one other thing that I want to talk about is on March Ninth, I register. Uh, no, I uploaded this Greek rap song. See, no, no, nothing, no copyright, nothing. Okay, this uh, March 9th, and on March 15th, it was on Spotify. Then I decided to upload the instrumental like the other day, March 23rd. Today, I'm making the videos March, March 25th. So it got blocked, you know, and um. Uh, I did a, I did a, what you call it? I did a dispute, so it got unblocked. Uh, but still, it says uh, that I need to. Where is the video? Okay. It says that the copyright owner needs to see the copyright that i did the dispute it's by sony japan so i really know because nobody else has the metadata and i'm thinking as a myself that i blocked myself you know and uh, if you go on the publishing on my page i register my greek song on publishing it's in in review so it says here the metadata isn't showing because isn't public yet public publicly yet so that's never happened to me before you know and i don't think sony here beat stars publishing is blocking videos i didn't appeal when you go in um, when you go in uh, let's say uh, dispute you can click on uh, you, you click I have a license so you click on appeal they didn't they didn't up they didn't uh, they didn't wanna they didn't they rejected they re rejected the appeal okay it's a little bit noisy around here I'm in this city in Greece uh, so it's a bit of a little bit of a sit show and uh, one other thing that i want to talk about is that splice generates certificate licenses so you know when you go let's say in your library 
and even if you download this sound right here this snare okay I don't need to play you know how a snare sounds and uh, you go on generate certified license and then you put your artist name your producer name you put your legal name and they generate a license for you so when well, let's say you're using a sample whatever sound you just need one license okay and then you can put a lot of stuff but I recommend each sound you use from splice generate a license so if someone asks you we need all the licenses for all the sounds you used you're gonna have them okay uh, so my song is gonna get blocked blocked soon because uh, I, I uploaded my song now it got blocked so my Greek song which I have it in my home page is gonna get blocked as soon as content ID finds it but it's still on Spotify I emailed United Masters they told me you need to talk with Sony then I found the email of Sony from uh, when I did a dispute and they sent me an email automatic email you know and uh, it's still on Spotify. It's not taken, got taken down. I'm waiting for a response from uh, Sony. 18 minutes, damn. So I'm waiting a response from Sony. And uh, yeah, have a good day.